Hey, orange one here. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to do, but I do know that uh, somebody had requested that we try and find the Southern Hive King. So I'm going to go back there. I couldn't really find much online about the king. Besides that it, it was like some beast or something like that. I don't really know. I was kind of confused by it. But anyways, I'm going to send someone down there. And I was also thinking... Oops. Did you just drop your leg? Yeah. Pick that up. And I was thinking about training up your thievery skills and whatnot. I'm not really sure where to do that. Maybe within the bars? We could go into some store and just try taking whatever's around. I think I'm going to try doing that. I try and sneak. How's that going to go for us with this robotic leg? Um, I feel like everyone sees this right now. Oh, I might be able to seal some stuff over here. Nope. Never mind. That didn't go well. Get out of there, Ridley. No, Skinner, do not fight. Ridley, run. Both of you. Shut it. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to have you both go right here and sneak. I think Ridley will be able to hide out. Oop, is the orange one getting hit? No. Man. Run outside. No, get out. Run away. Got that door on this pool. Both of you. I want sneaking over here. Hold your position. No, hold it. Hopefully these people won't be able to find us in time. Yeah, we managed to hide it hide away for long enough. Okay, you got a pretty big bounty on you. That means that we're going to be... Oh. Nope, both of you get indoors here. Really, I want you sneaking. For Christ's sake. You're wanted. <laughs> You're gonna be wanted for a few days, so we should probably just keep you in here. Well, at least we got some sake. <laughs> Not a very good deal. Ooh, old control tower, that sounds interesting. We should probably be following Orange One, huh? He's probably running through some interesting area. Old control tower. What is that? Is that old control tower? Control facility. Ancient lab. That sounds like a good location to get some gear from. Let's make a little pit stop. Let's see if it's got skeletons inside. I bet it does. Ancient labs tend to have uh, 
nasty enemies in them. But sometimes they don't. Sometimes you can actually get some good loot relatively free. I know it will take a little bit longer to see that Hive King, but I think it's worth it, don't you? Oh yeah, what's this? Oh. A weak thrall. Can we take on a weak thrall? It's just them, I think we can take them on. I'll put down the backpack for now. Oh, there's one weak thrall. Another weak thrall. I don't know if this is gonna go well. Oh, there's three of them. Maybe we should get out of here. Okay, run. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to face those odds three on one, even if they're weak. I'd rather not. And that worked out pretty well, though. All things considering, we just hit them a few times and then ran away. We've got better attack, and our defense isn't great, but okay. At least we got a little experience there. Like free combat experience, didn't even get hit once. I'll make note of that though. There's just like weak thralls there. And I kind of want to um, get a weak thrall as, as a companion, or a thrall as a companion. A headless uh, skeleton sounds pretty awesome as a someone to join our team. Hear that? Orange one's out looking for thralls for recruitment. You know any headless thralls? Send them my way. I feel like the only way that you can get them to join your party is through the, the slavery, like when you sell someone to slavery and then buy them. Which I don't know. Kind of buggy that someone would join you after you sell them to slavers. And it's like a cool mechanic for a song that you freed from slavery, but you shouldn't be able to do that with someone that you sold into slavery in the first place. I don't know how difficult that is to code, but... Seems like something that would make sense, you know? Ray Shelf. This place is pretty cool. Unique biome. Look at that sunrise. So colorful compared to this landscape. It's kind of cool. Are we are almost there. Before we go there, I just kind of want to check on Omelas just to make sure people are being useful. Anything going on in Omelas? Is that our wheat? Is our wheat? How's how's our crops doing? It's still a ways away. That's pretty much ready. Um, I'm kind of curious as to what's happening. Okay, that person's just dead. Got some dead bodies. Where crafting going? Is that one of ours? Yep, that's one of ours. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. It's actually really good. Especially against skimmers. We get a crew set up with that. We're gonna be doing nice. You know what, Tuner? Why don't you go rest? Ooh, ooh what's this? Who got away? Oh, well, whoever this is, they're not gonna... Is it just one of them? Yeah, it looks like it is just one.
I'm gonna take all your stuff, bud. But you know what? Can we do first aid on them? Throw out of town. You know what? I'm gonna pick them up and I'm gonna be a humanitarian right here. I'm gonna not put them in our bed right here, but I'm gonna take this actually outside. Nope. Pick them up. Let's go ahead with Jewel. I'm going to have you go out here. Let's open the doors up, and we're gonna set up a little bed in there. Let's see. Um, how do you do the sleeping beds? Do you have to do it through that menu, or can you just set it somewhere? I feel like it's through this menu. The camping. Yeah. That should be good. Put that down right there. Speed it up just a second. And why don't you put that guy, or gal, that's a girl, isn't it? Yep. We'll put that cloud ninja in there. See, we're not that bad of people. Moo. I'm not really sure what I want to have Moo do. Let's just have Moo rest for now. Just to save a little bit of food. And then, oop, orange one, what are you doing here? Why aren't you going in to the hive? I want to see if we can find this king. Ideally, we'll get to spot the king so that um, that guy who commented, or I don't know, guy, gal, that person who commented, will uh, get to see that. Oh, come on, now it's starting to slow down on the loading. I just did a quick save because I suspected it might, because last time we came into here it did. Hey, um, I made a little cut there because I spent way too long trying to find the king, but I found them. Here's the king. Like this weird gorilla-like thing. Let me get rid of this really quick. Sorry. That was in the corner of my screen. Um, orange one, you probably don't want to sneak up on this thing. I'm... Gonna get a little picture of this though right now. Like a weird gorilla like shape, you know. Yeah, let's do that for the picture. Oop, actually hold on. Sorry. Wrong button. Oop. Nope. Wrong button again. Where is he? There you go. There you are. I'm just gonna try getting a nice picture of you. Smile, King. There we go. I think I'll use that as like the front of our or some angle of this. Is that a good angle? I think that's a good angle. We'll probably use that as the front of the episode. Yeah, there's the king. <laughs> Took me longer than I'd like to admit to find them. Um, I think that like Catan is like over here somewhere. I kind of want to see if we can go to that. But first of all, we need to get out of Hyper territory. <laughs> I hope that that was uh, that was worth the trip, because that thing is dangerous. I don't know if I showed you the stats, but it had like 
over a thousand hit points on its head. Like, crazy high health. You know? At the end of the day, we, we saw who the king is. It's like some machine that they, like, worship. It's not actually a king. But begs the question, why do they worship the king? You know? Did it, like, save them? Does it like... The hivers? Because if it likes those hivers, why would it be hostile to this hiver? Did they reprogram it? Because I know that the hivers do have a knack for technology. You know? We're in the bone fields. That's a cool name. The bone fields. Looks like there's a road. You go along the road. Is that a settlement, though? What is that? I want to go check that out. Whatever it is. The old prison. What? Bandit throne. Is there a faction in there? That's cool. Ancient citadel. We try and pick our way inside. I don't think anyone is around or would mind. I have like no idea how long this recording's gone because all of my other sessions have kind of been hit and miss with like the recording times because it's all going to be a stitched together at the end. I'm just curious, what, what is this? It has skeletons in it. There's always skeletons in here, in these places. Yeah, see there's like skeleton eyes and whatnot. It just instantly makes me uh, a little suspicious. The Gurio bandits. Are they skeletal bandits? Oh dude, please tell me they're skeletal bandits. Ooh. Not skeletal, but freakish, freakishly shaped humans. And Shaq, what the? What? Okay, this is <laughs> one of the dumber factions I've seen in the game. What is with these guys? Like martial artists? Rio, like extremely buff martial artists. Yeah, I don't want to mess with extremely buff martial artists. I'm out of here. See ya. <laughs> they just kind of look dumb. I'm sorry. That's my opinion. That's just kind of this weird looking faction. Do we know where Catan is on this on the map? I feel like Catan should be in here somewhere, I just don't know where it is. Anyways, I think I'm gonna go along this coast a little bit. See what we can find. Some beak things. Let's avoid the beak thing a little bit. More than that. They're fast and they do a lot of damage. I haven't really fought a beak thing and that's for good reason. Because they will destroy you. 58 miles per hour? Oh, come on. There's no way you can outrun that. Can I run it into the uh, the base of the gorillas? Is there any way that I'm going to get away from this thing? Ooh, it actually stopped chasing me for some reason. Okay. I'll take it. 
Oh, like a gift horse gift beak thing in the mouth. They must have upped the speed on that because I thought they used to only run like 20 miles per hour. Their beak thing gutters. Is the other one like a bigger, more dangerous beak thing? No. Um, there seems to be some sort of road going down this way. It means I kind of want to go on it. Might be suicidal of me, seeing how it seems to be uh, a lot of beak things around here. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of beak things here. Keep on running, Benny Hill style. Am I the only person that was hearing B Benny Hill music in their head? Oh, look, a leviathan. Man, we're just seeing all the crazy uh, creatures. We got beak things, we got leviathans. See, that one only goes 31 miles per hour. The other thing was like a super fast beak thing. I'm not crazy. At least that's not proof of me being crazy. Look at those mountains. It's a weird shaped mountain, isn't it? What's on this road? Oh, we got some of these bandits. We want to hug Tiny. Oh, what? So they're like dumb? Okay, that's not cool. Come on, Kenshi. That's pretty offensive. <laughs> This island, we could go to this island. I really want to go to that island. Can we go there? Kind of surprised that they did that with those things, those giant buff humans being dumb. Like, how can you explain that? Other one, the other factions are pretty insane in this game, but that's just kind of not cool in my mind. Who are you, Band of Bones? Are you okay? I thought that they were more in the swamps, but we're pretty close to the swamps now, huh? I wanted to go over here because there was one other cool location I wanted to show you. It was just goats. Boneyard wolf. They're not just goats. I think once we get to this location, I'm probably going to end the episode. I don't know if it's going to be a long or a short episode because I've lost track of the time, but. No, orange one. Do not swim all the way over there. There's a bridge. Come on. <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. Because I know there's something on this island. Just because I looked at the map. I feel like the game's about to crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. I'm just saving just in case. Are you just loading things up and having a hard time with that? What's the deal? Yeah, I think you were. I load up the Fishman Island. What do you think is going to be on the island? Notice it doesn't say Fisherman. It's Fishman. Oh, come on. You can do it, Kenshi. I believe in you. Load. I know orange one's fast. Fish Isle. Take me over there. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's a fish man! Look at that thing. That's creepy, huh? Like stuff out of nightmares. Like crab people. Like if anyone should have tameable crabs, it's these guys. 
Not the crab bandits or whatever they're called. If I look in here, gurgler, fishman. That's pretty weird stuff, huh? Actually, they've got pretty terrible stats. Orange one might be able to fight one of them one on one. I mean, there's a lot more of them than just one. Kind of curious to see how this goes. I might have to retreat, but. Oh, never mind. Orange one. Retreat. Do not fight. Disengage. <laughs> They're pretty good martial artists. I thought they looked like they had pretty bad stats, but they just laid into us pretty bad there. In rest here. Yeah, they're not chasing. Okay, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.